Now the featherweights have warmed up the arena. It's time for the first heavyweight bout. It's the flipping awesome Yotan versus the royally regal King Buxton. This is my robot King Buxton. Uh, so King Buxton is a very ancient design, comes back from 1998 when things were much kinder. If it looks like I'm driving very randomly, backwards, forwards and without any control, that's just so they can't sight me up and see how to get under me. And that's my excuse for bad driving. If you just allow it to get going and get its speed up, I can beat a good wedge flipper one, one time in five. So I just hope it's today. Huzzah! Hi, I'm Adam Lewis, I'm the driver of the Oton. We're always battling and they are the marginal differences between maybe a win and a loss when you're fighting week in, week out. Uh, we have a very unusual shape when we get flipped. We tend to tumble quite a long way away from our competitor, which gives us a bit of time to regroup, hopefully get our nose down and then come back at him. Yotan versus King Buxton. Adam from Yotan has put so much time and thought into that machine. It's of such a strange shape. But then you've also got King Buxton. The robot's been around for 25 years. What I love about King Buxton is he, he drives it like he nicked it. He's all over the shop. He's a legend of Robot Wars. It's Rambot versus Flipper. It's going to be great. It's going to be balletic is what it's going to be. And so the heavyweight championship is kicking off a legend of robot combat versus the local lad, King B with the orange forks, Yotan, the boxy blue boy. Let's go! Both Mocker Bits is going to be wanting to get full control over this. It's not going to be massive damage. It's going to be about driving skill and maneuverability. And talking about it, we've got Yotan in the CPZ. Simon's loving it. King B wagging its forks in joy. Superb early point for Yotan able to get out of there. Maneuverability there, King B. Whizzing around Yotan, Yotan keeping that centre ground, making his opponent work for these points. But can Yotan get a crucial point in here? A good hit, a big flip is what they are looking for. It's all about that ground clearance. There it is, and it's a miss! Ah, that's not one you want to see, Adam. And he knows it as well. Of course, Yotan get back on its wheels. But we need that flip to actually land. And there we are, a return to form. Yotan shoving. Buxton into the CPZ, but missing again! This is frustrating for Adam. He needs to demonstrate not only his machine can work, but it can work when he wants it to work. The arena can actually get back to the centre and manages to reverse it. Superb work from Adam there. The legend on the back foot, back wheel, actually wheels in the air. King B sent tumbling through the sky. Superb big hit. That's what Adam needed to get those points in for the judges. You begin to cross the front of you don't get your machine into that mess. Position, another big hit from Adam there. Points are racking up. Could this go? No, it could not go his way. Straight in the pit. King B gets five points by knockout. Yotan got some good hits, middle of the fight there, but you can see the power and maneuverability of that legendary King Buxton able to get his opponent in the pit. My word, first part of the competition, and we've got five points for King Buxton. Oh, I'm feeling a bit relieved. It's always, I, I get like jelly legs and I feel a bit sick and I, I go to the bathroom seven or eight times before a fight. As much as that didn't look like the fanciest flipper, looks are very deceiving and I, I knew he'd be really good. You know, good days and bad days, and that was a good day. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with that, thank you. Simon, very well mannered there. Just not when driving in the arena. Next in the Robots Live Arena, it's